All right, my name is Camilla Smith. I've lived at Woodlawn Commons with my husband, Harold, for eight years. Uh, I've been asked to talk about the quality of, of the care at Woodlawn Commons, which I'm very happy to do. Uh, I thought the best way to do this was just to give you some anecdotes of experiences we've had with people here. So I'll start with our director, Patty Wade, and her assistant, uh, Gina Mergel. Uh, the first time my husband had to go to the emergency room, um, I got into the ambulance with the EMTs and we went out to the emergency room and we no sooner had got to the hospital and was in the room than Patty Wade was in the room right next to us and she was helping me answer the questions that the EMTs were, were asking and it was so comforting. I don't have any, we don't have any family who live anywhere near us. In fact, we have a daughter in Hong Kong and a son in Germany, so you can appreciate what it meant to me to have Patty just come in and be in the emergency room with us. Um, it wasn't too much longer after that, about a month and a half, when there was a knock on the door and Gina came in, sat down at the table, and she said, we're concerned about you. Um, you're obviously exhausted, your, your face, you look drawn. Uh, you've been doing all the nursing care for your husband by yourself, and we think it's time you got some help. And they helped me to enroll Harold in our long-term care uh, insurance and, and put me in touch with some agencies so I could get a nurse and a physical therapist who come to the apartment and uh, um, uh, aid comes in five days a week. And uh, I just started to live again, and I was, I was so deeply grateful. Um, the, the women at the desk, the receptionists, they are just so kind and so caring. Um, if we're, it's a bad day, they give us a hug. If it's a fun day, they laugh with us. Um, they, they know each one of us personally, uh, and that just makes such a difference. Um, uh, where do we go next? The dining room. Um, I am so impressed with the, the way the wait staff wait on uh, the, the people in the dining room, it's called George's Restaurant. Uh, there's one uh, of our residents here, um, she's got, she's so bent over that her chin rests permanently against her collarbone. And when it's time for the waitresses to, and the other wait people to, to serve her, they get down on their knees so that they can look her in the eye and discuss what she might like to order off the menu. I mean, that is just so moving, and I think I can't think of an anecdote that better uh, illustrates the, the compassion and the caring of all these people who work here at Woodlawn Commons. Uh, the maintenance people here are incredible. They have a hundred apartments that they have to care for, and it doesn't matter whether it's a weaky, <laughs> squeaky toilet seat or the air conditioning has gone out or if the refrigerator has quit, they come in with a smile. Um, nothing is too difficult for them. I've never heard them uh, scold anybody uh, for doing something stupid. Uh, they just couldn't be more uh, lovely. So my last anecdote is to tell you is that the time I went to the emergency room, and whenever one of us residents has to go to the emergency room, the maintenance people come and open the doors to make sure that the ambulance people can bring the gurneys in. Uh, so I was going out the door on the gurney and, and the maintenance man was there and he looked at me as I went by and he said, Camilla, God bless you. So that's my story. Woodlawn Commons, it's just the, the most wonderful place that Harold and I could possibly have come to retire to. We just love it here.